Hello everyone. Well, I've got a bit of a backlog of vacuum cleaners to unbox. Probably about five or six. Um, I think I know what's in this box, but I've got uh, others in my garage that I'm not really sure what they are until I open them. Now, obviously, I will have edited this video and put it on YouTube, so I will know by the time you see it what this was or is. I think it's a Hoover Dustet with tools. I think. It's the right sort of size box for that. But yeah, I've had this weeks or months possibly. Just bought quite a few vacuums, you know, over the last few months and just didn't have time to unbox them at the time. Just shoved them away until I had time. Well, I've got a bit of time today. So we'll have a look at this. Right, well, there it is. I'd even forgotten that I thought it was a grey one. I'd forgotten that it's actually green. I think this colour is called smoked pine and Swedish green and Hoover had quite a few models. I think they had a junior and a senior a shampoo polisher as well I believe and I think a constellation. So there's the cleaner itself. We'll have a look at that in a bit more detail. Then we should have some cleaning tools. Ah, and it's a boxed. So it's that long since I bought this. They are a box set. I'm not sure if we've got instructions. It'd be nice if we have. Nice set of boxed tools. And we have here the standard sort of all-purpose nozzle which would have come with the dust set, as I said, as standard. This is how you'd have bought it on its own, I think. This is what it would have been if you just bought the dust set. But we've got the optional toolkit. Right, I think, oh, this is quite good, this stuff, isn't it? I think I'll keep this packaging for when I sell some vacuums. It might help package some of those up. Right then, let's have a look before I look at the cleaner. We'll have a look at these cleaning tools. So these are cleaning tools for Hoover model 2946B made in Great Britain by Hoover Limited. There's a, a label on, I don't know if we can read anything on it. It was from Cole Brothers in Sheffield, a branch of the John Lewis Partnership. There is some writing, it's very hard, to, it's worn off. Written in pen, it's pro probably the name of the person. And there is a date, but it's very hard to see. That's a shame. I think this is probably from the 60s. So, here we have the cleaning tools and not in bad condition. Very good condition, actually. We've got the uh, wand, which you can fit directly to the cleaner if you want, or of course, onto the hose, which is included in this toolkit. And again, lovely, lovely, hardly used condition there. Just needs a bit of a clean crevice tool, with complete with the pip fitting intact and the Hoover roundel printed on there. Then we've got lovely soft dusting brush, a bit distorted those brushes, but not very. Been in a box a long time, I expect. But again, that will clean up very nicely. Then we have an all purpose brush. I think this is the most used. I think possibly this was used, you have to be careful. Now that does swivel. I did uh, make the mistake of trying to swivel one of these once by putting it uh, on an extension wand and I ended up breaking the pip off. But that should, can you, if you can just see that the pip isn't quite central, it does mean that this does rotate. I'll soak that in some soapy water. That's the most, got the most use. That'll take a while to pick all the muck out of that. But yeah, I think that's been used directly on the machine rather than on the tools I expect because we have very, very short, flexible hose, but ideal for the car. But the same, it's a full-sized 
handle, same size you'd get with upright cleaning tools or cylinder models. And we've got, it's just so well made, flexible, double stretch hose that plugs into the cleaner that end. So again, just a bit of a clean that's in excellent condition. And finally, well there's two things actually, we actually have in the box, which I remember seeing on the listing, the rating sticker, which I'll have to try and stick back onto the cleaner. We'll have a look at that in a, in a minute. And last but not least, this is the carry strap. I'm not sure if this should have instructions. I'll have to go back and look at my eBay account. I might have the instructions. I, I think I have got the instructions for one of these models anyway. It's definitely nothing left in the box. I'll quickly check the outer box just to see if we've got the instructions for this Suva Dustette. So here is the cleaner itself. I don't think this takes bags. Certain models of Dustette, you could fit a dispose all, as Hoover called them, not disposable, dispose all paper bag. Now I think this is a cloth bag one only, but looking at the cloth bag, it's in very good condition. Yes, there's no holes in it. We've got what appears or feels like a Bakelite handle. Bakelite was a sort of an early form of plastic. It's got that sort of look and feel about it. And we've got a slide on off switch clearly marked off. Slide it back to switch the cleaner on. Anything wrong with this? And I think I've got another one, possibly not in black. The cord protector grommet has perished, as you can see. The cord does seem to be original. It's a sort of a off-white or taupey colour, but it's, it's a ribbed cord. And if you want to see the plug, let's have a look at the plug, which is an ever-ready. And obviously, whether it's uh, age appropriate, I don't know, but it is an older plug because there's no insulated live and neutral pin. And it says made in England on it. I wonder what fuse they've put in because 13 amp for this is a bit high. It's only got, uh, well, we'll see what wattage the motor is if I can read the uh, rating sticker. All right, to empty the dust it, you just twist the back of the locking ring. Let's see, I think it goes towards me. It's going to be a bit stiff, hang on. Oh, that is, that is stiff. Am I turning it the right way? I think I am. Bear with me folks, there we are. Right, a little bit of muck in there. So this bag will come off for light washing. I just need a, a little screwdriver to remove the bag collar. Then I can separate it. And there's this inside the bag to keep it from flopping. There is a metal wire that goes along the top and then it loops round. Might just be able to see roughly what it looks like. You see it loops round there. So no, this is one that doesn't have a bag. They did other dustettes that had a zip and a, a bag with a bag support tube. And it, the, ba the small bags fitted much the same way as the junior and senior. There's a little seal. So this is a dirty fan cleaner. So basically, inside this metal body, there's a motor, and at the front here is a metal fan. So if we remove the nozzle, and we do that by squeezing the collar, the metal collar here, and pulling out the nozzle, and if we can quite see, if it's going to be bright enough, if I hold it just right, you might just be able to see there is a metal fan. And if I can, you can see it just about there. Inside here, behind this plastic cover, is the motor, and that's easy enough to get at. There is a suppressor in these. I've got um, a later model, probably my favourite dustette. 
which is the last metal bodied one in a sort of mustard yellow colour. And I was using that, I've unboxed that, you've seen that on my channel. I was using that shortly after the unboxing on my stairs and it started to smoke. It didn't actually explode, it just smoked and then stopped. So I tried removing the suppressor and I haven't succeeded yet, <laughs> it's in bits. I also have had electric shocks from these because at a time, well I can still touch them. It is possible to touch just where I've got the tip of my finger, that side and that side. It is possible to touch the um, carbon brushes, the actual holders, and they were live. So I've had shocks from uh, a dustette. Um, it wasn't too bad. I managed to get my hand, uh, hand away before it caused too much damage. So before I switch to the cleaner, I don't think there's much else I can show you. This is where we should have the rating sticker. And it's a sort of, these sort of feet that sort of keep the machine stood up because if those feet weren't there probably would just roll about so this keeps it upright really so what we can do if I can read it I'll try and zoom in on the rating sticker and once I've given this a clean and a polish and remove the suppressor I'm going to try and stick this back where it belongs Okay, let's see what I can read of this. Hoover model 2614B, 230 to 250 volts, 0 to 60 hertz, 140 watts. Trademark of Hoover Limited, serial number 26149070436, made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. Okay then, the time has come to switch this vintage handheld cleaner and these were a popular machine back in the day and they were sold alongside people would buy a hoover upright and uh, sometimes the salesman might recommend one of these for their car in fact I've got old brochures and you don't see men many times in old hoover leaflets from the 60s 70s it's normally women you see holding and demonstrating the product. The only time you'd see a man is when he was cleaning the car and often with a dustette or if it was a Hoover wet and dry vacuum then you'd see the man using it in his workshop but you'd still see the woman using it in the home to clear a spillage. Maybe her washing machine had uh, flooded or something. That's in lovely condition that bag. I'm, well I probably will not wash it I will give it a, I'll turn it inside out, give it a thorough vacuuming and might use some dry SIBO Duo P powder or some other sort of drier method just to freshen it up. Okay, I'm going to place it to one side and plug it in. It's going to be in the on position and we'll see if this Hoover Dustette comes to life. <laughs> Well, that sounds very nice, I must say. Let's turn it off. And I'll turn it back on at the wall. I'm always much more wary of metal bodied vacuums than I am of plastic bodied ones. So using the back of my hand, I'm just gonna see. <laughs> should, I should use a mains tester. Right, that's not live, that's not live. It seemed to work. Should we try it again? The bag certainly blew up very nicely. That is, that's quality. And it was quite heavy in the hand. Probably not quite as heavy as some of these new rechargeable stick backs. Of course it's metal. Um, I'm going to get my suction gauge actually, I don't know, it's not going to measure much. We might not get an accurate uh, reading because when you take a nozzle out we're left with a big hole here. So I'll have to put my finger over it and we'll just see. I think it'll be under 10 on my suction gauge. Well, 
Well, that wasn't a bad guess, actually. It was just under 10. While I was doing that, I've noticed there's a little bit of damage. Just to the top of the handle cover. But I'm sure somewhere in my stash, I've got another of these. Maybe not this colour, um, but it's in far worse condition. If the handle top is fine on that, I'll just swap it over. The condition of this one, yeah, it's got a few sort of scuffs on it, but they're just dirt. There's no, no damage to that. That's in lovely, lovely condition. Great little machines, the Dustettes. From the earlier ones, Model 100, I believe, it was the first, which I have. Model 100 didn't have removable tools. It was a fixed nozzle, so not as versatile as the later versions that you could put all the different tools and if you had another hoover cleaner with other tools they would be back then they would have been compatible for this model if you had a if you had the matching hoover junior and had the cleaning tools for that and you wanted a dust set as well but that's really uh, i just absolutely love these i love the way the bag inflates on these a little bit wary of this cleaner because of the suppressor the ticking time bomb let's see what it's like with a hose so with a hose attached you could put the cleaner down and then pop the accessory whichever accessory you want to use there we are onto the end we can hold it it is very short the hose and of course to extend the reach we can pop pop the wand on and then if we want we can pop a different nozzle onto the end the all-purpose brush or of course you can have the crevice tool if we want to reach up high or clean down low of course we can do our dusting our pitch rails or pelmets we can attach the wand of course you can use the wand in another way if we take it off the hose and remove the hose you can pop the wand directly on the cleaner like that and if you had an extra wand you could use it like a stick vacuum if you had a floor nozzle yes. I'll just pop down a little bit of dirt shall I I'll, I'll put the uh, the hose on because I like using it with a hose so this dust debt the dust debt ran until the 80s 84 was when Hoover introduced an all plastic bodied which I do have on my channel very similar form but it was all plastic, much lighter, made in Hong Kong. I did, do believe they did a grey one, which I think I have as well, um, that was made in the UK. And that was the very last dust set. Now, from old school technology to the latest cordless, and hmm, they're very similar weight, actually. Let's just uh, empty out some dirt with my shark there we are and we'll finish the video what's that? Hmm. <laughs> clean up this mess oh this this smells this muck lots of dog hairs in here isn't there we'll finish the video by cleaning this up with my old hoover dustette
Well, there you go. That's the end of today's video on this vintage Hoover Dustet handheld vacuum cleaner. If you have any comments about this cleaner, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, thumb up and click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.